Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So today we are going to see a ROM which have some really cool camera. The ROM actually shoots 4K 60fps video recording and also have some cool photography features installed. The ROM is based on Android 13 out of the box and the ROM itself is really cool too. So this is Eternity OS based on Android 13 from the community itself which records 4K videos. So let's get into it and see how to install this ROM on your POCO F1 without any further ado. So at the very first time, as usual, you need some files. Moving to the telegram channel, I will link down this telegram channel in the description box below. You have to download some files. So moving to this notification says regarding eternity os you just have to click on the download button as you can see they have also mentioned the change log and notes that this rom actually shoots 4k video recording and to get 4k 60 fps you have to flash one of the patch which they actually made so i will show you step by step how to do everything at the very first time you have to click on download button it will take you to the page of Plink where you have to download the latest build. So let's now navigate down towards the file section and now let's click on this very first link. Again you have to click on this hyperlink and it will take you to the source forge page where you have to click on try to download anyway. In my case I have already installed this ROM so I am not actually downloading it. So as they mentioned you have to flash this 4k video recording zip which will enable 60 fps 4k recording clicking on that it will take you this page and now you have to just long press on it and click on the download button to save to downloads once this file is download then that's all you need to get your 4k recording readily available in this rom and get that work done so as usual, let's boot into the TWRP recovery of this device and make sure you use the latest recovery of version 3.6. Moving towards the wipe, you have to wipe all the partitions first and after that you have to install the files which I have shown. As you can see that the ROM zip is not available in my device because I have flashed it via OTG and now it doesn't seem to be available on my internal storage. But at the very first time, you have to flash this file which is the firmware and after that you have to flash the rom.zip and after that you have to flash DFE and finally the 4kfix.zip. This order must be maintained so that it will be done perfectly fine without any issues. So once you flash all these files, at the very last, you have to flash the file which is the 4kzip. So this is that file, you simply have to click on that and just have to swipe to confirm flash. This is very much crucial to get your 4K recording done on your camera. So once all these files are flashed, you have to just click on reboot and then boot into the system. Wait for few seconds and boom, your ROM will boot into the system. And now let's see some usual and some basic settings. Moving towards the setting bar, you can see that the ROM has been flashed and you can't see any type of customizations in it. Basically the ROM gives a very much of vanilla and very clear and basic Android experience running on Android 13. You won't find any of the customizations and you will just find all of the generic Android 13 customizations and options which you usually get. So that's something good that they didn't bloat it up this ROM because they believe that the and 4K recording is something the main highlight of flashing their ROM. So talking about the ROM then the battery performance of this ROM is pretty much good and now let's jump to the main part that is camera. So as you can see this is the camera application which is the MIUI camera you get in all the MIUI devices. Here I am enabling the HD option and now this is some other option which you can set as per your preferences. This is the complete ANX camera which is a kind of MIUI camera and many ROM builders actually use that. 
here it is you can see all the options such as 720p 180p 30 and 60 fps you can also record video in 30 fps keeping the setting 4k but the best part is that you actually can record 60 fps in 4k and the quality is top notch and you will actually love that you might not be able to see in the camera itself but when you actually start recording your video you will feel that the quality has been increased and that's the magic of the high level snapdragon chipset you get in poco f1 you will get all the other options such as portrait mode some night photography and all the other stuff and also pro mode where you can just adjust all the other stuff such as iso and all the other things as per your preference and you can shoot some really good photos so these are all the options available in this camera application and that's what the main highlight of the entire rom is Some other features are something you can always enable for beta photography so that's how it's done. So now let's jump to the actual 4K footage which I shot from this ROMS camera. And this is the footage where you can see everything is so much balanced and so much perfectly fine. I have also shot some photos and these are the footages of it. The color dispersion, contrast and sharpness is kind of overwhelming but it's totally fine because the phone is something quite old and as per that still the phone shoots some really good photos and good videos. We must really appreciate that thing. Going further talking about the ROM area then the ROM has got pretty much good amount of battery life. I have used this ROM for almost a week and once you charge then you can go for a day. Talking about the scores then this ROM ranks about 3.4 lakhs of 1 to 2 benchmark scores. And as again I don't rely much on numbers but rely on the performance that the ROM shows me. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video you must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content upcoming. Until then, see you again in the next one. Peace out.